we live for the next seven generations. Everything we do and everything we don't do impacts the next seven generations. This way of life has been passed down to Chief Shirel from her ancestors, whose land is being lost to climate change. Committed to leaving the world a better place, she's leading the fight to protect the environment and all generations to come. This is Chief Shirel's impact. All of my family is here. My father and my uncle T-Man, who's our former chief, my mother's parents, and our family for so many generations. We are the land. This is what we know. But I've had to grow up hearing about how long, you know, my people's voice was, was suppressed. They were prevented from making progress, they were prevented from being native. Outsiders would come in and did whatever they wanted without any consideration for our people. We're dealing with all of the, the man-made damages that were caused. And now we have climate change too. You know, I took the position as chief because I, I couldn't take the heartache that I was witnessing anymore. As leader, my job as chief is to represent my people, take their voice and carry it where it needs to go. should be at the forefront of every opportunity that can bring our future generations security. This used to be a beautiful place. Some people, a lot of them uh, was born and raised here, you know, it's that culture, it's that way of life. You know, it's in our heart. Born and raised down here. All our lives. This is our livelihood, you know? We need the shrimp to survive. Uh, finding less shrimp to catch is big way smaller. Oh, it makes you feel bad. Yeah, it hurts. It's for the grandkids, you know? It's gonna be hard on them, and it's gonna be getting harder to come back down here and knowing it's just gonna be open golf one day. You know, with all the storms and right. everything and the COVID, our shrimpers are struggling. Right. The monies that they had gotten for the shrimpers they still have not gotten any of that yet. So these people are, are struggling. That's their whole income. My grandfather, my mom's dad, he had, I mean, acres and acres of land, and now there's hardly anything left. The erosion's been taken over, it's all the storms, and it's just a lot of things are not even there anymore. My native name is uh, Killer Red Fox. And, um, and that, that's because I'm known for um, attacking and, and killing bad policy. Yeah, you see how that's getting all eaten up? Yeah. A lot of the, like the canals are dug for all companies. But once, that's, once the well is done, they don't put nothing back. It's, it stays open. So really, it's being washed out. This storm season was bad. We lost a lot of land. I know we did. We can't afford to lose any more land. No. These bayou communities stick out like fingers. It used to be all land. 
but now they're just these little strips. Every time a hurricane comes in, they literally could be gone. We're losing our whole identity if nothing is done. And to those that say that nothing can be done, no. Something can always be There's done. There's always something that could, that could be done to That's right. preserve the land. We understand our environment. And we will fight as long as it takes to do whatever it takes to repair her and stay where we belong. We know that they tore us up. We got all those canals. That's part of that work, is to raise that awareness and get some accountability and responsibility going so that we can have futures for our kids and our grandkids. Good morning, Ms. Christie. It's Chief Sherelle. Being a chief and a mom is interesting, and, and I have four children. Yes, uh, so you have to get really good okay, at prioritizing on the spot. Um, because just one little thing thrown into your day can just throw everything off. It's my tribal citizens here. Everything that I have to deal with on a personal level as, as a person, a mom, they deal with too. My duty is to these people to make sure that they're okay. Yep, all my insulation just got all ripped up. God have mercy. A couple of houses down the road, I mean, they, they literally lost their whole roof and everything. All I kept thinking about was God protect my kids. Some people can look and just say, wow, why don't y'all move? You can't. You don't know how to live anywhere else. This is your life. This is your identity. Even worse than that, the property values are so low. We can't sell to try to get something in another location because you're not gonna get the money you need. It's like Indian country is completely left off of their radar. We have to push and we have to fight our way through all these obstacles, but that's all right. We're gonna keep pushing and fighting through. My grandma grew up down here, and I think even her mother. If we can't continue our traditions here, where are we supposed to start it again? Okay, watch me just set all those out for you. So we're gonna smudge. When my uncle was chief, I didn't think I could do the job. I didn't. He sat me down and he goes, you know what makes a good chief? I said, no, no, I, I don't. A chief is someone who serves. My job is to serve my people. I think it's time that we stop being quiet about what all of the big industries are doing to us you know, taking our lands, polluting our air, you know, polluting our waters. What we've had to do is work with advocacy groups so that we could have a voice and make sure that we have a seat at the table. People that are outsiders, they see this title as chief, it's this glorified thing, and I'm going, no. The people have needs, and it's my job to ensure that their needs are met. You got it, Miss Marlene? Oh, yeah. So happy to be able to share the sweet potatoes this year. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. How was your day? It was definitely interesting. Good morning. Are we going to check everything out at the cemetery? What are people to do to the cemetery? Well, we've been planning on fixing the cemetery and protecting it. The water's making it sink. And that's happening a lot. Who's Abby? Come see, I'm gonna show y'all what's going on Adam in the back. Adam Mm-hmm. That was not even Watch, be careful. Mom, I found two different parfaits. Come on, y'all. Come on. Mm. The cemetery is very dear to me on many, many levels. 
Because of the resilience and the determination of our ancestors, we are still here. I can break down all of these things that I tell you that I do, and it adds up to one word, love. Our saying is that we live for the next seven generations. Everything we do and everything we don't do is going to impact them. Here you go, Emily. Mine's nibbling too. Yours is nibbling too? There you yeah, go. I still nice. feel it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Chris them, you know. Okay. I got a biggest thing. Yeah, I want my kids to know what this is. We all do. Because there's, uh, I've been a lot of places. I have, I've traveled. And I, I can tell you I had to come home because it's just not the same anywhere else. Now I'm gonna turn around and we'll kick down. Yeah, put it on your side. I did it. Because of the challenges that we're facing, we have an opportunity with the time that we've been given to do something good for the next generations. Thank you.